second you failed to do your speech? It's not the only reason I like him. Right, good evening, ladies. Can I sit down to do this? Because my leg's really hurting me. I feel, okay. Is that okay? I'll Sorry. I'm in bloody agony. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, fellow councillors and Madam Mayor. It is my pleasure to present this joint motion with Greg Marshall and supported by Councillor Liz Williamson. Not only is it a pleasure to present this motion, but more importantly, it is nice to be working with others, regardless of political differences, to benefit the people of Roxton Borough. As the Chairman of Broxley Youth Homelessness, I'm always going to do my best to protect our youngsters. I hope this can be the start of working together, and who knows, one day as a council, we may have a motion presented by everyone together. As everyone knows, I'm always happy to work with everyone. There is a movement happening across the United Kingdom, which is happening in council chambers up and down the UK. Today is our turn here in Broxton Borough. The movement calls for the UK to be the first con country in the world to protect the rights of care experienced people in equality law. This is long overdue. I am told that care experienced people are 70% more likely to die prematurely. That is 20 years off each life. Some care experienced people never grow old. There are people who through no fault of their own ended up in a broken care system. They never chose to go into care, but what they all have in common is that their parents, for whatever reason, could not look after them. Children in the care system are often neglected and traumatised before coming into care. They then will suffer a broken care system. Then once they reach legal age, are rejected and abandoned once more. Today is, a significant, sorry, today is significant because this campaign comes to Brox the Borough. Terry Galloway, is the, who is leading this campaign, lives in our borough. He's not from here, but this is his own. He is the care leaver champion for Nottinghamshire. Terry lived in over 100 places growing up in the care system across Manchester and Devon. He talks about the trauma he suffered and the life changes he and his family had as they left the care system. He talks about his sister Hazel, who was sadly murdered by her boyfriend and how she lost the children to the care system. His story is tragic, but he says the tragedy is that his suffering is still happening, to, sorry, that this suffering is still happening today. We are blessed in this chamber to have a chief executive who is so passionate for the most vulnerable. Ruth I had knows of Terry and worked with him and hundreds of other people across our great county when Nottinghamshire became the first county in England to create a joint offer for care leavers. This meant we were the first to create meaningful joined up policies and care for care leavers to help them transition into independence. We introduced free leisure for all care leavers up to the age of 25 across all districts, no matter where they were from. If they lived here, we treated them as our own. We introduced the first housing policies that did away with local connection for care leavers in Nottinghamshire. And we topped up the one bed rate for care leavers out of discretionary housing payments. I want us here in Broxton Borough to set an example of how we can introduce better policies. That mean our care experienced people get equality of opportunity. We need a system that understands them, does not feel sorry for them, but ensures they are empowered to the best that they can be. This means looking at the things we do, checking how our policies impact the care experience. Terry tells me that care experienced people suffer trauma, but they are just like you and me. He says care experienced people have, have so much to offer, so much to give, and they are not troublemakers. Just like any human being, they want love, nurture and a sense of belonging. But unlike most care leavers, don't have the protection of a family support network to guide them when things go wrong or, or someone to tell them they're going in the wrong direction when they are mixing with the wrong people. When they leave the care system, they are vulnerable. The scaffolding that keeps them safe and protected drops away. That's a time when the predators pounce. The perpetrators of domestic violence, coercion, gangs, county lines and modern day slavery. I'm proud to live in Broxton Borough. I'm proud of the things this council has done for the most vulnerable and I'm proud of our leadership. I want to be proud that today our council votes to treat care experience as if it were a protected characteristic. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, well said. Uh, Councillor Skinner. 